Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hello! I make lifestyle New York City vlog content here on my channel as well as reviews and travel content so if any of that interests you, make sure you hit subscribe but today I just wanted to sit down and review the new Celine Sangle bucket tote bag so I had this bag for a little bit over a month now and I actually took some notes so that I don't leave out any important information for you guys so far, I've been loving it, but I do have some pros and cons to share. I'm also going to be showing you what fits in this bag and if I ultimately think that it's worth it. So let's just jump straight into the video. So first pro that I had is that as you could tell, it does fit a lot of stuff in here. I typically love mini bags and that's just more my style. But obviously, this size fits more than just my lipstick, my keys, and my wallet. I needed something more practical because like I said, a lot of my bags are teeny tiny. One detail I like to point out is that I really like that the logo is not like BAM in your face. And I went with this really neutral taupe color. They had a really beautiful like forest green color on their website too. But I feel like that's more of a fall winter vibe and this color I feel like just matches everything in my wardrobe and also can last all throughout the year. It's very easy to style because you can dress it up or down. Next is the strap. One of the biggest reasons why I chose this bag is because of how thick the strap is. If I'm going to get a bag where I throw all my stuff in, it's going to get heavy and I wanted something comfortable that I can rely on to carry around the city all day long. So if you do carry a lot of things in your tote and you need it to be easy and comfortable, the strap is so easy on the shoulders. It doesn't hurt my shoulder at all. I have pretty narrow shoulders but I don't find that this strap easily slips off. A lot of times when I commute into work, I carry my laptop in here as well as like my lunch, my water bottle, a coffee, my makeup pouch, my phone and usually the strap will create an indent at the end of the day for me and I have really sensitive skin so this part of my shoulder is always red but with this I don't experience that problem at all. Another thing I love about this tote is that once you hook it to the clasp, I love the design of it. From the side you can really see that the design flaps inward so it just creates a really nice shape. I'm about 5'1", 5'2", so I'm very, very petite and I feel like the size of this tote is like perfect because any bigger, it would just swallow me up. And one detail that I like to mention is that it's longer vertically than horizontally, which is something that I always look for in totes so that it can make me look a little bit taller. It does have a hook. I know that a lot of tote bags come with just a wide opening without a zipper closure, but this is just a nice added sense of security knowing that all of your things are safe in one place. Obviously, like someone can still reach into like one of these holes. That doesn't bother me because I always have my bag around my shoulder and my arms are pretty much covering the top. As you can probably guess, the quality of this bag is amazing. It's a grainy leather, so if you're like me and you plan to wear this out every single day, you don't have to be too precious about it like getting scratches because of this grainy leather. And the inside is a really beautiful suede material, but the stitching as well is really intricate. I actually bought a separate divider for this bag that you put inside just to protect the suede from any damage. So I'll link the one that I got on Etsy down below. It also just helps keep your things organized if you have small knickknacks here and there because it is a bucket bag. But if you're like me and you would just like for the inside of your bag to be a bit more organized, you'll probably find the insert pretty helpful. Another great thing I love about this bag is the outside pockets. So you can tell there's one, two, three, and four pockets all on the outside of the bag, which I find really functional. I usually put my phone in here. Anything with pockets is a win for me. Another pro is that you can definitely dress it up with customizable straps. This is the strap that the taupe color comes in and I love it because it's on the shorter side so it's really easy to just hang it over your shoulder. But if you want to dress it up, they do sell separate straps. And all you have to do is unhook this. I actually got a separate strap just in case I want to change up the style a little bit. So I went with this light beige one. I think it goes really well with the taupe color 
and I really like the darker brown leather detail here but they have a ton of different strap styles that you can choose from on their website and in store but for everyday use I just like to strap on this one that already came with the bag I don't have too many cons to say about this bag. None of these cons actually bother me, but I know it might bother some people, so I thought it would be worth mentioning. The first is that inside the bucket bag, it doesn't come with a key holder. But I just like to put it in one of these like flaps and it doesn't really bother me. Another con that I'd like to point out is that since the strap is just one strap, if you have the clasp on throughout the day and Say you're going to a grocery store and you need your wallet really quick It's hard to grab anything in your bag with just one strap So you have to remove it from your shoulder Unhook it and then take out whatever it is you're looking for So it might be a bit of a hassle for some people who are just like quick on the go If you are putting something in the front flap It might alter the shape of the bag a little bit when you're wearing it So in terms of design, you're not going to get that really cute inward flap going on it might just bulge out a little bit and last but not least is that while my macbook 13 inch does fit inside this bag you kind of have to tilt the laptop a little bit so that your clasp can hook so that is a bit of an issue if you are carrying a lot of things you need to make room for your laptop to slant inward so that you can close the hook so those are all my pros and cons for the Celine Sangle. Overall, I really love this bag and I actually wore this bag more times than I did like my mini bags because it's just so functional and it's great for work. So to me, I think it's so worth it because I know I'm going to be carrying this around all year long. And now I'm going to show you some ways on how I like to style this bag. If you end up picking up the sangle, let me know in the comments below on what color you went with. I honestly think all the colors they have available are really nice. And I did hear that they're actually thinking about discontinuing the sangle. So if you have been thinking about it, I highly recommend you picking it up now. Because in the future, the value is probably going to go up. So it's really good for resale. If any of you guys were eyeing this Celine Sangle, I hope you found this review helpful. Or if you're just looking for a functional tote bag and what you want to look for in your future bag. Thank you guys so much for watching again and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!